Hello and thank you for coming to watch this video. This video is a very quick video about how to find which files or folders etc are locked and sometimes we try and delete a file and we might get a error message like this it's still open can't delete it can't move it etc okay that could apply to folders as well so the very simple thing is we suggest you watch our previous video on how to get the system internals suite okay the link should be in the description and also should be on the screen now the very simple thing is you open up the process explorer 64 which is this just by double clicking on it or actually we suggest you run it as administrator and then open it up over here once that is done all you need to do is get the name of the file. You could type in the full name, go to handle, sorry, find, find handle or DLL, type in the name, do a little quick search, and it shows quite a few processes that have actually got a handle on that file. And by double clicking on that, you can see over here it's opened up by the process explorer which is correct we're trying to delete the file that's actually running right now so that shows it it also showed it was opened up by explorer and process explorer etc etc various different process ids the way you would actually be able to delete this is one, you close down the program that is actually having it open. For example, if Microsoft Word was having the file open at the moment, you would close down Microsoft Word and then delete the file. Okay. Often it's hard to find which processes and which um, programs they are. And in those situations, you could as we have found out, that's the one that actually is owning it. We could kill it, kill the process from here. Now, this could result in no major problems. Okay, however, we do suggest that you be very, very careful because, as I said before, it was also open in Explorer. So if you close an Explorer, everything that was open over here would get all fuzzy and you would get a restart of Explorer. So if it was opened up by certain different processes, you could actually crash your system. A few ways to actually delete files or folders. Generally, by restarting your computer, the lock is unlocked. Um, another option is to go into safe boot, okay, go into safe mode and then restart it that way and then delete the file or folder from there or from outside of Windows. We should put some links on the video to show you how to go into safe mode and also how to boot from outside and make some changes. Hopefully this video has helped. 